Anyway, my point is, is you get an elder dog um, that is respected by the rest of the pack, and it doesn't matter, like, it, it, like wolves and, and even dogs back here, they're like, oh, that's, that's King Bee, that's Queen Bee. Yeah. Like, so my, my, my youngest dog will sneak by and get really low and go, oh, I don't want to mess, I don't want, I don't, I don't want any trouble. You are, you know, they're basically bowing. And then, so we look at that and we go, well, that's, that's respect. That's, that's the younger dog saying, oh, I trust you, I respect you. But when we do it, some people think of it as like you're, you're instructing fear into the dog, but it's like, I'm doing the same thing an elder dog would do to a younger dog within your pack, yeah. right? But so understand that, that when she stops and she goes, oh, what it, it's, not, it's not about her going, I don't want to get hurt. It's about her going like, oh, I don't want to mess up because I know yeah. that you're the captain of the ship. Okay. Just, you have to analyze situations and say, hmm, I can either let my dog continue to bark, scream, yell, lunge, potentially hurt somebody, or I can say, enough of this crap. You're my dog. These are my friends and family. This is my neighborhood. This is my house. And you're going you're gonna to stop. Mm -hmm. and, but, but because they're dogs and we love them so much, yeah. like that's the thing is like, um, I don't get a lot of it, but I get some people who are like, oh, you, you know, you're doing this to the dog. I'm like, dude, these dogs are trying to like, to. yeah, yeah. I, and, 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 but, but because we have, this, we have this vision that dogs understand A, English, and be a human emotion, we, we create this natural healing of, of if we provide them love and security, then they're never going to do that. Yeah. And then three months later, they're like, uh, so you ever thought about just euthanizing the dog? You know, and it's like, dude, yeah. get, a, get a grip. Get a grip. I mean, dogs, are, they, like, this is crazy. But I've also seen, you know, I work with some of the dogs, and I've seen them, like, almost kill people. Yeah. Latch onto throats. Like, Hurt babies, hurt other, hurt puppies. Yeah. But they don't, they don't expose themselves to those things because they're like, oh, that's all negative. That 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 doesn't happen. It's like, uh, wake up. It does happen. Mm -hmm. And if you don't take control and you're not a responsible human to an animal, you shouldn't have the animal, and you shouldn't be teaching people this crap. Mm -hmm. But it happens every day, and it sucks. Heel. Uh, my pack know their their role, and they never really second guess that. At first, sure. Yeah. Because they gotta establish they gotta they gotta find that. Um, but it boggles my mind, you know, sometimes I find I just find it so interesting that if a dog has an issue with another dog, I'm like I'm like a kid in a candy store. I'm like pen and paper, I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, and what are we gonna do about this? You know, and I'm watching because ultimately I learn mm -hmm. and they're natural like but dogs growl, they yeah. fight, they they get in nasty arguments, you know, just like we would at work or we would at school or we would in relationships. Like dogs just talk with their mouth, but because a, a dog fight is so earth shattering for us because we love these animals so freaking much that if we see them cause each other pain it's such a different thing for us yeah you can't understand you can't fathom you can't it. fathom it do it to somebody else so why would they do it to and them? you could never yeah. comprehend like oh my god my babies are killing each other and you're like dude they argued over that marrow bone you gave one of them you yeah. know you know what i mean yeah. it's like it's common sense but because we're so unexposed mm -hmm. to real canine behavior we can't experience what it really is and we don't understand it and so when we have a little spack in the in the back in daycare mm -hmm. where so and so messed with so and so's girlfriend and they're not going to go mrs jones um that's my girlfriend and they're going to go screw you let's go and they fight yeah. And they growl, and there's hair, and it's like, and it never gets bad back there because we we, we cycle our dogs into, but it happens. Yeah. And if in like our daycare, Kate, she's like, ah, knock it off, rips them apart, and they're like, yeah, fine, and that's it. Mm -hmm. But if you're not exposed to it, yeah. some people aren't. They're like sitting there, like peeing their pants, and they're like, I have to euthanize my dog, or I, you know, and it's like, dude, they got in an argument. Like, yeah. this, this is so, and it's funny because the, the 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 scheming of the natural this and the natural that, it's like. That's natural. That's the most natural crap you could ever see. And that's how, and so dogs literally will almost kill each other to make a point, but yet we use a prong collar that mimics dog behavior and yeah. it's not natural. Are you kidding me? Yeah. You know? Um, but it's the same thing as like um, diet Pepsi. Okay. Like it's Pepsi. And it, you like it, then drink it. And if you don't, then don't. But don't call it better for you because it's diet. Yeah, it's all it, shit. It, it's, well, it's commercialized crap, exactly. But if you put, but my point is, is if you put all natural Pepsi, it's like, it's still, it's still Pepsi, Pepsi, right? You know what I mean?